Good morning class. Uh, the today's topic is AIDS, cancer and drug abuse. Uh, what is the full form of AIDS? The full form of AIDS is Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Uh, it is a syndromic disease that is caused due to the deficiency of the immune system. And this disease or syndrome is acquired during the lifetime of any individual indicating that it is not a congenial disease. Uh, this disease is first reported in 1981 in America and after that uh, 25 and 20, uh, 25 and 30 years near about the 25 million persons were killed with this uh, disease. The causative organs, the responsible organism is the human immunodeficiency virus HIV virus HIV virus is a retrovirus and using the RNA as a genetic material as a RNA genome and RNA genome is enclosed in a protein coat that is called the capsid what are the mode of uh, transmission of HIV infection number one is the sexual contact with the infected person if a person is inf infected with the HIV uh, he or she can be transmit this HIV virus by means of the sexual contact with the healthy one. By transfusion of the contaminated blood and blood product, blood product like blood platelets, plasma etc. Third one is the, the mode of the transmission is the by searing infected needles as in the case of the intravenous drug abusers, the persons who are the drug abusers. If they are going to take the same syringe for so many persons, they may be affected. And uh, the fourth one is the major reason that is the from the infected mother to her child through the placenta. Because this virus can travel, can cross the placenta and create the disease in the fetus also. But if mother is treated continuously, taken treatment with the antiretroviral anti drugs uh, she may can prolong the infection to her child. Individuals with multiple sexual partners, drug addicts who take the drug intravenously, individuals who require the repeated blood transfusion like uh, in case of the leukemia or thalassemia, uh, the children born to the HIV infected mother they have very high chance of the infection of the HIV or AIDS. So what are the cause of the HIV infections? The main, main cause is the body fluid. Only body fluid, only it is not, not the touch or any physical contact, but the body fluid is responsible uh, for this infection. Uh, and it takes place near about the few months, means near about the six months to a few years five to six years between infection and the appearance of its sign. It is known as the window period. Window period means the date of the infection and the appearance of the AIDS symptoms. And it may be six months or sometimes up to 10 years. Now, what is the mechanism or action or uh, we can see it is a replication of the HIV. So as we know that HIV is a RNA virus, it is an RNA genome. And its structures include the identical RNA strand and with the help of the reverse transcriptase enzymes which are enclosed in the protein coat. The target cell of this HIV in the human beings are the macrophages or the T help, help, helper lymphocytes known as the TH cells. HIV uh, when uh, at, uh, enters into the body, it may first bind to the accepted or the host macrophage when uh, where fusion of the HIV take place. This HIV RNA or the viral RNA released in cytoplasm with undergoes reverse transcription process and with the help of the enzyme reverse transcriptase, HIV DNA or viral DNA is formed. This viral DNA enters into the host nucleus and integrate with this host DNA. Now with the help of the transcription process, new viral RNA forms, viral genomes and some uh, translates by the process of the translation in the cytoplasm to a new viral 
protein to develop a new viral protein also this viral protein and rna uh, genome moves to the surface of the cell and bud off as a new hiv virus now again these viruses uh, get targeted to the helper t lymphocytes replicate and produce the progenies viruses and day by day reduces the t helper lymphocyte cells uh, here you can see the step wise process of the virus and the host cell number one is the fusion of the hiv virus to the host surface second is the hiv rna reverse transcriptase integrated and other viral proteins enter the host cell in the third steps viral rna with the help of the reverse transcriptase enzyme form the integrated viral dna and then it is going to be entered into the host dna in the third step viral dna is formed by the reverse transcription in the fourth step viral dna is transported across the nucleus and integrates with the host cell or host dna then in the first uh, fifth step new viral rna is used as genomic rna and to make the viral protein after this the new viral rna and proteins moves towards like a bud and the virus matures by proteases releasing individual hiv proteins this is a mature virions now it is going to attack to the another host cell in the body now what is the symptoms hiv attack on the helper t lymphocyte cells and uh, due to the reduction of helper t lymphocyte cells which can cause a severe cellular immunodeficiency in the human body and sometimes uh, the rec recurring uh, the bolt of the fever and uh, pers persons may get the diarrhea and uh, regularly weight loss highly susceptible after the weight loss or the diarrhea and due to the inefficiency of the immune system uh, the person may highly susceptible to the mycobacterium or tb uh, bacteria viruses fungi sometimes parasites like uh, taxoplasma also and infected persons become the opportunistic to the inf infections uh, the the diagnosis and treatments are like a diagnostic test or kit is for the hiv or aids are the elisa test enzyme linked immunosorbent assay elisa test and the treatment of aids uh, with the anti retroviral drugs partially effective drugs uh, drug can only prolong the life of the patients but cannot prevent the death which is very very inevitable now present prevention of the aids how we can prevent this aids uh, the people educating people to generate the awareness among them so we can say fight uh, hiv with the information with the correct information and with the awareness information so national aids control organization naco you have heard the name and other non governmental organization ngos are going to educate the peoples to generate the awareness and who has also started a number of programs to prevent the spreading of hiv infections with includes the making blood that uh, from the blood banks safe from the hiv ensuring the use of the only disposable syringe for many in the hospitals and many other dispensaries and syringe in public or private uh, hospitals and clinic free distribution of the condoms also by these organizations or non government organizations controlling drug abuse also uh, advocating the safe sex and promoting the regular uh, check up of the hiv susceptible populations infection with hiv or having aids is something that uh, should not be hidden since then the infection may spread to many more people due to the social taboo uh, next uh, a very deadly disease a very common nowadays a deadly disease is known as the cancer so cancer also known as a malignant tumor uh, in a group of the disease involving the abnormal cell growth with the potential to invade or spread to other parts of the body so considered as one major cause of the death all over the world and uh, due to its uh, severity process of oncogenic transformation of cell 
uh, its treatments and control requires most intense areas of research in the biological science biotechnology and medical science cancer can be induced uh, by externally factors are known as the carcinogens the most common cancer worldwide uh, in the women are the breast cancer lungs cancer stomach cancer cervix cancer and colorectal colorectal cancer in the colon region so in the men's esophagus cancer is uh, very very important lungs cancer and stomach liver cancer prostate cancer in the human being and colo colonorectal cancer these are the very most common type of cancers are found in men and women worldwide what are the causes of the cancer actually the normal cells transform into the cancerous neoplastic cells by some agents some physical agents chemical agents and biological agents these agents are known as the carcinogens physical agents uh, are like x rays gamma rays non ionizing radiations like ultraviolet rays chemical agents like uh, using of the tobacco smoke sodium azides methyl ethene and sulfonates etc they are the ca- some chemicals responsible to create the uh, to transform the normal cells into the cancerous neoplastic cells and few biological agents are also here they are known as the viruses so cancer causing viruses are known as the oncogenic viruses having a gene that is called the viral oncogenes which induce the transformation of neoplastic cells cellular oncogenic uh, c o n c or proto oncogenic is a normal cells uh, in normal cells uh, when activated lead to a oncogenic transformation of these normal cells sometimes uh, with the action of some, some genes some genes are present there and they are able to transform these oncogenic transformation the mechanism to transform to the cancerous cells are the cell growth and differentiation is very highly controlled and regulated with the lack in the cancerous cells normal cells shows a property that is the contact inhibition inhibit the uncontrolled growth and cancerous cells appear to have the lost their property as a result of this cancerous cells just continue to divide due to the loss of the property continuous divide to giving into a mass of the cells and this mass of the cells is known as the tumor you can uh, see here the structure of the tumor the normal cells and the cancerous cells and a tumor is forming in the tissues in between the tissues now what are the types of the tumors uh, there are basically two types of the tumors one is the benign tumor and another is the malignant tumor in the benign tumor normally remains confined to their original locations they do not spread here and there so do not spread to other locations and cause uh, little damage so uh, but in the malignant tumors mass of the proliferating cells that is called the neoplastic cells or we can say it is a tumor cells they grow very rapidly and invade and damage the surrounding tissues also the cells actively divide and grow and they also stop the normal cells so cancerous cells uh, escape from the site of origin and moves to the distant places by the with the help of the blood wherever they get uh, idox and clumped make the normal cells cancerous this property of this cancerous cells are known as the metastasis now detections of the cancers uh, first technique is the biopsy and histopathological study Uh, in this uh, det- det- detection process that is when the blood and bone marrow test for increased cells counting just like an leukemia or blood cancer and biopsy biopsy of the piece of the sus- suspected tissue out uh, into their sections is stained with an examine under the microscope it is known as the histopathological study by a pathologist in a pathological center and uh, next is the radiography like uh, x ray ct scan computer tomography used to detect the cancerous cells in the internal organs and this technique is computer tomography uses the x ray to generate a three dimensional image of the internal organs of any tissue next is the very common it is a very common and now it is very popular that is known as the mri magnetic resonance imaging technique uses a strong in this technique we uh, strong using of the strong magnetic field and non ionizing 
radiations to accurately detect the pathological and physiological changes in the living tissues and uh, antibodies against the cancerous specific antigens are used uh, to detect the certain cancers uh, uh, in a persons cancers genes actually in person is advised to prevent the to the exposure the treatment of uh, cancers are basically three types surgical surgical method radiotherapy and chemotherapy uh, surgical method the removal of cancerous cells by using the surgical instruments and uh, in radiotherapy destructions of the cancer cells by using the radiations and in chemotherapy destructions of the cancer cells by using some drugs the drugs are known as the anti cancer drugs the in the treatment of the surgery tumor cells are surgically removed in radiation therapy uh, tumor cells are eradicated uh, lethally and taking proper care of the normal tissues in chemotherapy it uh, kills the cancer cells is specific for particular tumors uh, majority of drugs have side effects sometimes hair loss anemia etc and immunotherapy is a new branch that involve using of a biological response modifier like uh, alpha interferons which activate immune system to detect the cancer cells and destroy them and most cancers are tra treated with the combinations of these surgical surgery radiotherapy and chemotherapy now one another topic uh, in your syllabus is the drug and alcohol abuse drugs are those chemical substances which has biological effect on the human and animals also so drugs commonly abused the drugs are known as the opioids cannabinoids and coca alkaloids so proper education and guidance would enable youth in safeguard themselves against these dangerous behavioral patterns and follow the healthy lifestyle uh, the first group is the opioids drug binds this uh, opioids uh, binds to opioids receptor which is present in the central nervous system and gi tract uh, for example morphine that is or commonly known as the smack and heroin morphine is obtained from the latex of the poppy plant the poppy plant papaver somniferum and it is a sedative and painkiller and used to reduce the pain after the surgery and second uh, drug is the heroin it is known also known as the smack chemically name, name is the diethyl morphine and it is bitter in taste white uh, sometimes odorless crystalline compound obtained from by the process of the acetylation of the morphine and taken by the snorting uh, inhaling with the nose and injections act uh, as depressant and slow the down the body functions also second group is the cannabinoids chemically which interact with the cannabinoid receptor present in the brain and it is a natural cannabinoids obtained from the influence of the cannabinoid sativa plant uh, marijuana hashish ganja and charas see these are the four products that produced by the various combination of this uh, plant cannabinoid sativa of their influence or flower tops leaves and resins of the cannabinoid plant uh, taken by inhalation and oral ingestion also affect the cardiovascular system of the body and sport person caught the abusing in the reasons by using these drugs coca alkaloids or the cocaine third group the cocaine also called the coke or the crack erythroxylon coca it interferes with the transport of the neurotransmitter like dopamine taken by the smoking have you heard the dope test in the for the players the dopamine is a hormone taken by uh, the drug is taken by the smoking it is stimulates the cns and induce the euphoria and increase the energy also so high dose uh, may cause the hallucinations now hallucinogens produced from the plant like uh, atropa belladoria and dhatura species dhatura plant are hallucinogenic now lsd uh, lysergic acid diethylamide obtained from this uh, this fungus uh, barbirates uh, is also group amphi amphetamines benzodiazepines japines it is responsible to these drugs are responsible to treat the mental illness like depression and sometimes insomnia or all or any other things depression and anxiety all these things uh, next is the tobacco is a very very important and very very crucial things the people used excess amount of uh, then may cause the lungs cancer bronchitis sometimes throat and gastric ulcer also and uh, mouth cancer also may be developed with these 
things tobacco and next is the alcohol alcohol is also a depressant it affects the central nervous system if a person is taking too much alcohol in his or her life then the healthy liver will get the cirrhotic cirrhotic liver or the cirrhosis liver cirrhosis the causes of the drug abuse what are the reasons of the drug abuse what are the causes uh, number one cause a very very common cause is the curiosity in the adolescents age it need for the adventures and sometimes excitement and experimentation also it motivates the children to experiment it the first use of the drugs or alcohol may be uh, out of curiosity and experimentation and stress and pressure uh, to excel in academics sometimes they play a significant role in uh, persuading the youngsters to try the alcohol and drugs to escape uh, facing the problems the perception among the youth that is is proved to cool to smoke very cool to smoke use drugs or alcohol it is also in a way a major cause for the youth to start these habits sometimes tv movies newspaper internet uh, may also helpful to promote these perceptions also an unstable or unsupportive sometimes family structures or a peer pressure a very very important uh, peer pressure if a person is getting a peer pressure too much he or she may be in indulge in taking the these drugs now addictions and dependence following are the cause of the drug alcohol abuse or addiction one is the curiosity we know that need of adventure excitement experimentation to escape from the stress and sometimes unsupportive family structure uh, with repeated use of this drug alcohol the tolerance level of receptors the tolerance levels of receptor in our body increase and consequently they respond only to the higher dose of the drug uh, if a person is going to take the higher and higher dose uh, we can say uh, he or she may be a addict a drug addict or addiction and if the regular dose of the drug alcohol is abruptly discontinued uh, the body manifest of uh, characteristics and unpleasant withdrawal syndromes sometimes symptoms which can be an anxiety in form of the anxiety nausea sweating etc uh, uh, it is known as the drug dependence the person is known as the drug dependence drug effect what is the effect of the drug the immediate effect of the drug uh, alcohol abuse are manifested as a reckless behavior vandalism and violence also excessive drugs can lead to be coma and death due to the cerebral hemorrhage respiratory and the heart failure also a combination of drugs or their intake with the alcohol lead to death the most common warning signals or we can sign of the drug alcohol abuse are the drop in the academic performance lack of interest in the personal hygiene withdrawal and isolation from the family and friends aggressive and rebellious behavior and sometimes a lack of interest in the hobbies change in sleep patterns or eating habits sometimes insomnia uh, did not take sleep into the in the night time and sometimes fluctuation in the weight also due to the metabolic changes when the drug is taken intravenously it can lead to infections like uh, hiv aids and hepatitis also and use of alcohol during adolescence can lead to healthy drinking you can say heavy drinking in the adulthood chronic uh, use of uh, the drugs and alcohol damage to the central nervous systems and liver may cause the liver cirrhosis and misuse of the anabolic steroids cause the following uh, in the females some characters are developed into the females one is known as the masculination and increase uh, aggressiveness mood swing abnormal menstrual cycle excessive hair growth on the face and body and enlargement in the clitoris and the deepening of the voice also these are the sign are found in the males these signs are this is akins or uh, we can say depressions is there mood swing is also there uh, premature baldness and 
sometimes uh, problems in the kidneys and the liver dysfunctions also enlargement of the prostate gland enlargement uh, of the chest also so these are the symptoms depression is the main sign in the males now what are the prevention and control so i'll uh, avoid under the peer pressure you can prevent it educating and uh, counseling to face the problems stress to accept the failure also help uh, from the parents and peers and professionalism help to from the professionals counselors and sometimes after that the medical help is also required so this is all for the today's thanks and have a nice day